Hello students, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will study the skull melting method. Okay, the skull melting method is one of the crystal growth technique. Okay, there are mainly four different type of crystal growth technique like zoning technique, pulling technique, flame fusion method and the skull melting method. Okay, these are the four different crystal growth techniques. Okay, crystal growth means what is nothing but a, a recrystallization. Okay recrystallization is nothing but a crystal growth technique okay once we get the solid we know that the solids are not the purest form right to get the purest form of the solid we have to go for the recrystallization process or the crystal growth technique okay we can adopt any of these four different types to get the purest form okay and uh, in this uh, class we will be studying about the skull melting method okay the zoning pulling and flame fusion these three method we will see in the later classes okay now we will mainly focusing on the fourth one okay the skull melting method this skull melting method remember this is mainly for the crystallization of zirconia okay it is for the crystallization of the cubic form of the zirconia The zirconia means ZRO2, okay? ZRO2 is called as zirconia or can also be called as uh, zirconium oxide, okay? This zirconia find application in the optical uh, equipments. It find application in electronic equipments and also it will find application in the lasers, okay? So, these are the application of zirconia. Now, we will uh, see how we can crystallize the zirconia by means of the skull melting method. Okay, we are going for this crystallization of zirconia using skull melting method only because in practically there is no container that can hold the melt form of the zirconia. Okay, there is no container that can hold the melt form. Melt form means what? Liquid form of the zirconia. The melt of zirconia. Why? Because the zirconia is having very high melting point. The melting point of zirconia is found to be around 2750 degrees Celsius. Okay. This is the melting point of zirconia. As the melting point is very high, there is no container that can hold the zirconia melt. So, we have to go for the skull melting method in order to prepare the purest form of the zirconia. Okay. In case of the skull melting method, the instrument is something uh, look like a, a series of pipe that is placed in the circular manner. Okay. Let me show you how it is. Okay. These are the pipes made up of metal. Okay. They are placed in the circular manner. This is how the instrument for the skull melting method looked like. Okay, uh, sorry for the uh, bad drawing, but anyway, it looked like this. Uh, these are all pipes. Okay, these are all metal pipes, usually made up of copper. Okay, the metal pipes they are hollow inside, just like a, a PVC pipe, right? They are uh, uh, hollow inside. No, uh, now here metal pipes are placed in a circular manner. Just uh, uh, you know, consider my fingers to be the metal pipe. Okay, these are all metal pipes and they are hollow inside, just like the PVC pipe. And how they are placed? They are placed in a circular manner. Okay, they are uh, placed. Uh, with the minimum gap okay if these are two pipes the gap between them should be very minimum okay and they are placed in the circular manner okay like this okay and they are hollow inside and uh, what you have to do is you have to keep these metal pipes okay you have to keep the metal pipes in cold condition you can uh, do so by using the liquid uh, uh, nitrogen or uh, cold water Okay, you have to continuously uh, pass the liquid nitrogen from here. Okay, you have to pass the liquid nitrogen or water and you uh, have to remove it from the other side. Okay, there should be a continuous circulation of what? Liquid water or the nitrogen, cold water or liquid nitrogen in order to keep this pipe in the cold condition. Okay, now you can see if you place the pipe like this, there is some uh, gap between them, right? If, if these are all the pipes, there is a cavity between them now inside this cavity what you need to do is you have to put our material what are the materials the material are the zirconia zirconia 
Zirconium is what? ZrO2 and zirconium metal. Okay, zirconium metal is Zr. Okay, this is zirconia. This is zirconium. Okay, the next you have to add the calcium oxide. Okay, here calcium oxide is added as the stabilizer. Why it is added as stabilizer? Because we know that zirconia is having very high melting point. And remember, uh, this zirconia in the melt form will be very reactive. Okay, that is the reason why there is no container that can hold the zirconia. So, to stabilize this liquid form of the zirconia, we have to add the stabilizer that is calcium oxide. Okay, zirconium is the metal that is added because zirconia can melt only in the presence of melter. Okay, its own metal, right? Zirconium, uh, zirconia will melt only in the presence of zirconia metal. That is why we are adding little bit of zirconium metal to the mixture. Okay, now where you have to place this? You have to place the KVT here. Okay, between the pipes, there is a KVT, right? Or in the uh, uh, space, in between this space, you have to place what? Zirconia, zirconium metal and calcium oxide. Okay, next what you need to do is you have to uh, wrap the uh, wire, okay, coil. You have to wound the coil around this uh, apparatus. Okay, this is called as crucible. Okay, this setup is called as crucible. And you have to uh, pass the radio frequency, okay. You have to uh, pass the radio frequency field by means of this uh, wire that you have wounded uh, er uh, around this uh, metal pipes, okay. Whenever you pass the radio frequency to this crucible, what happens is that the zirconia metal, whatever you added, no, that will melt, okay. The zirconium metal, but this do not melt, it will be remain in the solid form only, while the zirconium metal will melt, okay. Now, what happened once the zirconium metal melt? Now, just imagine you have one beaker, okay. You have the beaker and uh, imagine you have a stone in it, okay. You have stone and you have a ice piece in it, okay. You have ice piece, okay. This is your ice and this is the stone you have, okay. And whenever you heat, what happened? Whether stone melt or ice melt, ice melt first, correct? So, whenever ice melt, what happened? This will get converted into liquid form, correct? And once it gets converted into liquid form, what happened? This is the stone and this ice will uh, come down, right? Here, it, it will come down here, right? something like this it will convert it into the liquid form it will go down and it will form kind of layer like this just similar to that the zirconium melt now right so what happened is that it will go down here it will go and settle at the bottom just like a water or ice here right so uh, now i uh, already said these pipes are in cold condition why because we are continuously passing the liquid nitrogen or the cold water in order to keep the metal pipe in the very cold condition now now, as soon as this zirconium metal come and touches the bottom and the surface of this pipe, it gets solidifies. Okay, because these pipes are very cold condition. As the zirconium metal touches the surface here and here, what happened? It gets solidified. Okay. Now you have still uh, zirconia in the solid form, right? So you are having now zirconium sorry zirconia zro2 the zirconium uh, is uh, at the outer surface right while calcium oxide is also present along with the zirconium and now what you need to do is you have to remove the radio frequency okay just to remove the radio frequency then you have to wound the copper wire uh, around this uh, metal pipes or the crucible then you have to connect it to a external power supply external power supply okay so first what you need to do first you have to wound the wire and pass the radio frequency at that condition the our metal zirconium will melt and it will form a layer outside of okay and as soon as it come in contact with the pipes it will solidify and now we still have the zirconia zro2 and calcium oxide just like the stone here okay and now what you need to do remove the radio frequency and wound what wire copper wire okay you have to use the copper wire and then you have to connect it to an external power supply and you have to pass a very high voltage okay it is around uh, uh, 100 kilowatt of power is passed by means of external power supply now what happens is that eventually 
okay eventually this zirconium will melt start to melt okay the zirconia start to melt when you apply a very high power by means of power supply okay now this zirconia also melt okay it will be present here it also melts and you have to keep the zirconium melt as such for several hours so that uh, you will get the uniformity okay you have to pass the power for around two hour or three hour just to get the uniformity okay and after complete melt of the zirconia you have to remove the uh, power supply okay you have to remove the wire and uh, cut off the power supply then uh, it will be in the liquid form only right so you have to keep it as such for several hours so that uh, uh, it to solidify by itself okay it gets solidifies now after complete solidification of the zirconia melt that is the uh, present uh, uh, what you need to do is uh, you have to remove your pipe okay you have to remove the pipe okay you can remove it and now the shape of the zirconia will be like this correct the zirconia is the one that is settled at the bottom and that was in contact with the pipe right it will be in the form of uh, uh, this this is uh, resemble the shape of a skull correct that is the reason why this technique is called a skull melting process okay now inside this what we had we had a zirconia and sorry zirconia and calcium oxide now zirconia is also melted and it is solidified correct once zirconia gets solidified it will get the shape of columnar shape okay it will get the columnar shape in, in the skull okay just like this okay it will get the shape of the uh, columnar it will be in the purest form now okay remember this skull the thickness of the skull is uh, in the order of one one by 15 okay the thickness is one by 15 inches okay it will be very thin skull okay the skull is made up of what zirconium metal zirconium metal sorry and inside this uh, skull we, we have the columnar form of the zirconia now how to remove it just invert this okay invert this it will be like this then what you need to do is uh, to remove the columnar form of the zirconia just tap over here okay just tap so that uh, these uh, uh, crystals will fall down okay it will be in the shape of columnar okay it will be having kind of this columnar shape okay and this will be the purest form of what purest form of our zro2 okay this is our required correct required uh, crystal zro2 that can be purified like this by means of skull melting method okay this skull melting method means what it is mainly for our zirconia purification of zro2 okay uh, why we are using skull melting method for this because there is uh, practically no container that can hold the melt of zirconia as the melting point of this is very high and also the zirconia is ha having very high reactivity at a higher temperature in the melt form it will be having very high reactivity so that uh, there is no container that can hold it okay that is the reason why we are preparing zirconia by means of skull melting method okay by means means of these all crucibles okay if you have any doubt in this skull melting method let me know okay it is a little bit confusing i know but it is uh, super easy if you understand okay if you have any confusion let me ask in, uh, let me answer in the uh, comment section uh, section okay thank you for uh, watching